Hey, what's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nicole or Jocelyn, and today we are going to be talking about my top 5 best pens for note-taking and journaling because I use them for pretty much both. And I've been using these pens for the past couple of months. I have a few that I bought from Shopee and these are the notes that I was able to make with them. And I actually did take a lot of notes so that I could test out the pens for you guys and boil it down to my top 5, which is why I'm so excited to share it with you guys and while you guys skim through my notes and my pens i'm going to be talking about today's sponsor which is skillshare and i'm so excited to be partnering up with skillshare again because i really do use skillshare and it's so useful to me i'm a very creative person and i like enhancing my skills learning new skills and boosting my creativity which are things that I'm able to do with Skillshare. So joining this community has definitely been a huge pro for my life and I hope that you guys can check out the link in the description box because you guys get two months worth of free premium Skillshare by clicking that link and this is only for the first 1,000 subscribers that click it. So make sure to grab this opportunity because Skillshare is usually like $10 a month, which is still very affordable for the quality videos that you get. There are like thousands of videos taught by professionals and it really is super worth it. So I hope that you guys can try it out for two months and see if you like it so that you can be part of the community just like me. And I've been taking a bunch of classes. Right now, I'm studying a bunch of uh, marketing classes because they do have marketing classes, which is super convenient because I do own a shop now. I have an Instagram shop and I have a Shopee shop. So you guys will see a short vlog after this top five countdown. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and keep watching. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out in the link in the description box down below. Okay, so these are the pens that I've been using for the past two months and I hope that you skimmed through enough of them because there are a lot of them and I'm so excited to be sharing with you number five, which is the Pilot Juice Pen in 0.5. At first, I actually didn't really like this pen as much as the others because I thought that the strokes weren't very consistent. But after trying it out more and actually breaking into it, similar to the next one, it actually became a lot smoother, which is uh, something that I really appreciate. So Pilot Juice Pen in 0.5 is a yes for me and it's actually my number 5 out of all of those pens guys. Amazing. It does just require a little bit more pressure than usual which is fine if you guys naturally already have like strong pressured strokes. The next one which is number 4 is the Muji Noctite Pen and at first as well, this was kind of uh, inconsistent with the strokes, but the more that I used it, the smoother that it became. So definitely if you guys have this, make sure to break it in before using it for notes, I guess. I used this for writing letters, which is why I broke into it so well and I actually reached half of the pen. Next, number four is the, I mean number three, is the Sarasa. Zebra Sarasa Clip Pen in 0.5 Black and this is the limited edition white barrel one. They're all going to be linked down in the description box down below. So make sure to check them out if you like them. I got them all from Shopee. And I really like this pen. I love it so much. I bought a bunch of it because I got scared that it might get sold out again because these pens sell out so quickly on Shopee. But I'm glad that I found a shop that uh, really sells quality real ones. And it's really smooth and something about the material of the tip as well as the formula makes it really smooth. Uh, next up is the Pilot G2 in 0.38 and I really like this. It's not a 0.4, it's a 0.38 and I used to use the Pilot, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I forgot. G-Tech, G-Tech pen which is why I really appreciate this one because it's still very thin just like my G-Tech 
but this one is really smooth and really consistent. I wouldn't recommend the G2 in 0.5 because it was very inconsistent even if I kept trying to write with it, it wasn't so nice. So definitely the 0.38 is much much better. And my number one, of course, is the Zebra Sarasa Mark On pen in 0.5. 0.4 is also nice, but I like 0.5 a lot more because it's so pigmented and if I were going to use a 0.4, I would just use my G2 in 0.38, honestly. Anyway, so this Mark On pen is just amazing. I use highlighters and I can use highlighters with this pen because it doesn't smudge and that's what the Mark On is known for. And as you can see, it's kind of packaged or designed in a way that's like really college type with a grid um, sticker around it. So. I really really like this and definitely this is what I like to use when I study. It's kind of like a ritual now, like I really get in the zone to study with this pen. Anyway, here's just um, swatches, I guess, of all of them next to each other, just so you can compare them. And I know they all kind of look the same, but writing with them feels different for each pen, I guess. I guess the most similar ones are the sarasa ones just because they have the same formula i guess and the tip used but uh definitely there are differences in these pens when you use them so now i hope you guys enjoy this short studio vlog Thank mm -hmm. you. 